Welcome back to my channel. It's Kia Tatiana here and today I'm going to be doing a very simple tutorial. All you will need is curling rods, a water bottle, fill it up with water. I use a detangler brush and I use a scrunchie with cloth around it. So here you just see me spraying down my hair making sure it's completely damp. My hair was dry in this clip so I'm just separating it into sections. It at the roots so I take my time and make sure the roots are wet before the ends and then I'll go around it again another time so this is my hair fully damp it's all wet and now I'm about to detangle it the tangling I start from the bottom to the roots therefore I won't go around and pull my hair out I was sectioning your hair especially if you have natural curly hair I really do suggest you sectioning off your hair to detangle. So now I'm ready to add the gel into my hair and it smells so bomb. So section by section I add a little about a dime size from the roots to the tips and I detangle with the brush as you can see my hair is fully detangled and I just use a curling rod. This is a, I think it's about medium size, yeah I think it's medium size. Dry, shriveled up curls and twist a nice stretch with Aunt Jackie's special blend of moisturizing conditioners, flaxseed, shea butter, and extra virgin olive oil. With nourishing omega-3 fatty acids, flaxseed has been widely used as a natural remedy for hair growth, anti-thinning, and overall scalp health. With regular use, hair is less soft without a crunchy tackle feel. Side over. I'm gonna part it to the side so I just want one side to be more fluffier than the other so that's why I chose smaller rods on one side and bigger rods on the other side so once I finished that I set my timer for 15 minutes and I just sat there under the dryer, read the Bible, and I actually sat underneath the dryer for about an hour. So, hour later, I'm back, and I am taking out the rods. As you can see, my hair is a little bit damp. That's why I was making those faces. <laughs> it was wet from the roots. Um, some parts of my hair were really dry. I don't know why. I sat all around the dryer. I got all surfaces of my head. But... It's always very hard to get the roots in between the rods to be very dry, so I'm just going to still take them out because I have no patience to sit under there any longer. So once I take them out, I usually use an oil or something, but I wanted to try it without any oils, but I would still need to add a shine to it on day two. So I use a blow dryer on medium heat. I just blow dry the curls without taking them out. I blow dry it so it can get solid in its formation. Then I start to fluff it out once it gets dry. I don't do too much finger combing because that causes tons of frizz. So I just hold the curl as it is and just dry it. And also medium heat is very effective because you do not want to get heat damage even with a blow dryer. So medium heat is not too hot, but it's just right to get the curls to a level of dryness. So once I feel like it's dry enough, I start to untangle the curl. So this time I'm actually fluffing it to the size of my liking and shaking it out. A little music video, you know, <laughs> that's what I do. Shake, 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 fluff, fluff, fluff is very essential to big hair. So then I just apply some edge control. I don't do too much with my edges. I love to keep it natural. So I just follow the pattern of my baby hairs. And my edge control is actually almost finished. So I was barely getting any out. So yeah. So this, guys, is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Give this video a thumbs up. And thank you, Aunt Jackie, for this video.